Oh, let me get in here. Oh, here we go, here we go. Um, I literally just forgot what I was about to discuss in this video. I remember, all right, here we go. What's going on YouTube? It's Alvin the director. Okay, so I'm sitting down right now um, out here on post. I just finished up a 3.1 mile um, run. That's 5K for those who don't know anything about running. Um, so yeah, I just completed that 5K. I love running on Sundays. If you've been following my channel for a while and following my Instagram as well, you see that I like to run on Sundays. Um, during the month of June, I didn't run as much as I did in May and in April. I was training for a 10K. Um, but it got canceled, which I'm still, you know, kind of butthurt about. But I decided to, um, you know, give my legs a little bit of a break this month and just focus on um, weightlifting and doing a bunch of, um, you know, other cardio activities um, indoors, you know, since the gyms and stuff are opening back up. Um, our gyms on post never really uh, closed. Um, they kind of changed their um, hours a little bit and they also required you to wear a mask in the gym. So, I mean, that's been pretty you know, hard to do cardio activities, but now that things are, are changing and I'm working out um, at a gym off post, it's a lot different. So I'm, I'm really enjoying being back in the gym and just uh, being able to just work out freely without that mask. All right, so um, I wanted to discuss, um, you know, my career, you know, so far and what I've been doing on post. Um, in the last video, I talked about uh, me becoming a platoon leader, but before that I was working in the battalion staff. So. The purpose of this video is to talk about battalion staff and what to expect. All right, so I worked at six, which means I worked in the six shop. Um, that's basically everything, communications, um, and we supported all the companies um, in the battalion. So we have, you know, Alpha, Bravo, uh, Charlie, Delta, uh, I think an Echo maybe? No, we don't have an Echo, FSE. Um, and so, yeah, that was, those are who we supported and yeah, so everything that related to communications kind of ran through my shop if, you know, we needed assistance. The SIG shop is pretty much kind of like a help desk. Um, that's the most simplest way to uh, explain uh, the SIG shop. So, what to expect in battalion staff. So, if you're a brand new lieutenant, there's a good chance they're going to throw you into some kind of staff position before you become a PL. Now, there are instances where you go straight to your unit and you become a PL, which is awesome, that's great. But a lot of times there's just excess lieutenants and there are also a lot of staff positions that need to be filled because they need an OIC and um, you know, you just gotta have, you have to be doing something. So how staff works is you have your S1, S2, S3, S4, and S6, and they all pretty much work together even though they had different functions. Working staff is a crucial aspect of um, you know, your military development because you get to understand how things work. Um, so all the shops have their own separate uh, job descriptions and what they do, but they all kind of intermingle. Um, and you know, whenever you come into a staff position, um, the first thing I recommend doing is networking. Get to know who all works in your staff shop and also get to know who works in close proximity with you. So like if you work, um, like how I did at Battalion, um, you need to understand or you need to know um, who's in the one shop and who's in the two shop and you know all the shops you need to get to know who is important in those positions and um, network get your name out there and it's gonna help you out um, with doing your job in the long run so for me how my shop was set up um, I was directly next to oh I was my office was next to the um, the two shops so I got to know those guys a lot and you know they kind of helped me out I helped them out you know as best as I could and so we had a, a good um, we had good camaraderie, that's the word I'm looking for. Um, and then I also got to, to know the three shop very well, the four shop, and then um, I met the, the one shop a little bit later. Um, but in my opinion, the one shop, you have to get to know them a lot because that deals with like all your admin, paperwork, um, leave. So if you're bad to your S1, they could uh, accidentally lose your paperwork and can't go on leave. So don't screw over your one shop. Um, <laughs> So yeah, network, get to know who is important in those positions. Also take the time out. You're gonna have a lot of downtime when you're working staff. Um, I mean, there are times where it gets like really, really busy, but there's also time where you can like spend working on your personal development. So the second thing I would um, say is 
work on your personal development. Get to know um, what your job description is um, whenever you transition out of the staff shop. Um, so for instance, me with Signal, I would look over my um, Signal FMs and just get to know how Signal works. And so whenever I moved into that platoon leader position, um, I was you know, a step ahead of you know, where I would have been if I didn't you know, take the time out to study. So work on some personal development. If there are any certifications or anything like that that you can get while you're working in those staff positions, I highly encourage you to do that. Also working, in the, um, uh, working as staff, you also work with a lot of higher ups. So like your captains, some field grades and, um, and on up. So, Get to know them as well. Um, you're gonna be doing a lot of meetings, so if you don't like doing meetings well, suck it up. Um, you're an officer, you're gonna be doing a lot of meetings. Are the meetings pointless? Next. Working staff really is not a hard thing. Um, that's being completely honest. Uh, like you, you get to learn a lot, and what I like about you know working in that staff shop is just being able to um, learn other aspects of the military. Um, I was lucky and got put in the Essex shop, which um, is, you know, a shop pretty much for Signal. So that also helped me out a, a good bit. But also know a lot of Signaliers who got put in other positions like S2 or S3, and um, that really helped out their development as well because they were doing something that didn't really um, relate to their MOS. But you also get to, to broaden um, your horizons with, you know, the military. So. Um, that's that's very beneficial. Just take every position as an opportunity to learn and develop um, as a leader and as an officer. Um, and yeah, that's really it. There's not a lot to work in the staff. Um, if you have any questions about working in the battalion shops or working, I guess, brigade as well, because I did work a lot with brigade, um, you can drop them in the comments below. Let me know what you think. Also, if you have any video suggestions, drop those in the comments below as well. And as always, you can follow me on Instagram at Alvin the Director. I've been getting a lot of follows lately, so you all have been following me, and I appreciate you. And also those DMs, I try to get to everyone. So if I haven't got to your DM, you can also leave that in the comments below and tell people that you know I suck at responding to DMs. But I think I do a pretty good job. Um, well, that's about it. I'm Alvin the Director, and I'm out.